So our investigation into the Pike County murders continues right now. We are following the tax dollars spent on this case so far, and the cost is well into six figures. But our investigation found that spending has slowed down drastically in the last few months. Investigative reporter Jody Barr joins us from Pike County with the story. Well, Robin, Tricia, we're back out here at this rodent evidence warehouse where we came across these Pike County spending records during our initial investigation here a few weeks ago into this unguarded evidence. Now, these records show $160,000 spent on this investigation so far. Well, we got spending answers from the Pike County Sheriff, but those spending answers from the Attorney General's office, well, that's a different story. In May, the homes where eight members of a Pike County family were shot to death rolled down Highway 32 and into this warehouse. It took hundreds of man hours and $167,000 in tax money. These Pike County spending records show $13,000 to move these trailers, $20,000 to rent this warehouse, mobile restrooms, coolers, and diesel fuel, and another $60,000 paid to ALH Contracting, LLC. I had a contractor complete work for us so that the evidence was preserved and secured. Pike County Sheriff Charles Reeder told us in this interview two weeks ago the spending was necessary. The county paid that carpenter to nail plywood over the buildings at the Union Hill crime scenes, secure evidence inside one trailer, and to cover the doors and windows of those trailers when they were moved. For example, Pike County records show in the last 15 months, the county's paid ALH contracting $132,000 for carpentry work at the sheriff's office and for work on the rodent case. There is certainly a cost connected with it. We also ask Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine for his spending on the rodent investigation. The only spending records the AG provided us showed $2,600 in travel expenses for three AG staffers. But that's not all the AG spent on this investigation. Right now, any idea, have you all figured out the hours, the, the money at the state level this has cost? Well, we certainly could figure out the cost. I've not done so. Our folks got there, I think, about 11 o'clock in the morning, and they were still there and, and just finishing up at, at 5 or 6 o'clock the next morning. So uh, same people, long day. Certainly they had overtime, and there'll be other people who have overtime as well. AG Mike DeWine told us that in this interview in June, we later filed a formal request with his office for the rodent case spending. Now, the AG tells us he can't tell the public everything he spent because his office isn't tracking spending on the road investigation. The fact that the Attorney General's office cannot account for what it spent on this investigation, is that concerning to people who want to see how tax dollars are spent? Yeah, that's, that's troubling. Of course, that's troubling. Jack Greiner is one of the best-known First Amendment attorneys in the state. He looked over the AG's letter to us, a letter claiming the AG's office cannot tell the public all it's spent on the Roden case or any other investigation in that office. The reason, the AG says he does not track spending by case. If this is standard operating procedure uh, for the, the Attorney General's office, I think somebody ought to take a look at that and really ask some hard questions. At the end of the day, the public's still in the dark. Well, the AG's travel records show, now those are the only records we got from the Attorney General's office, but they show only one agent's been in Pike County since the end of June. Now, the last time those records show that agent was here was at the end of August. Rob and Tricia. Jody, our original investigations looked at unguarded evidence. Do these spending records give any indication when the 24-7 guarding of that evidence might have stopped? Yeah, well, the sheriff would not tell us that. He would not give us a date during our interview with him a couple of weeks ago. But the overtime spending the sheriff gave us on these spending records shows the last overtime was paid June the 25th. That's the last time a deputy was paid overtime in this county, which could be an indication that that was the last time that this evidence warehouse was guarded around the clock. Jody Barr reporting live in Pike County tonight. We will continue to cover all the news coming out of Pike County. And if you know anything that could help police solve this murder, call the Bureau of Criminal Investigations tip line at 855-BCI-OHIO. New at